Hi and welcome. Uh, I'm the learning engineer at learningengineer.blip.tv and today I'm going to show you how to draw a simple shamrock in Inkscape and I decided to do this since my creating a heart shape in Inkscape is my most popular video. So to create a shamrock in Inkscape we begin with a circle just like we did with the harp and, and basically that's what we're doing. We're making a basic in a way a basic heart shape here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is take this path, an object to path, and then we come over here and we grab on our handle and we just kind of pull this down. Okay. Now if we were to grab this uh, curve handle here, and what happens is it's symmetrical. And so you can see it pulls it up and down. And we don't want that. What we want is to make this a corner. Okay. And what this does is allow us to operate these independently of one another. Okay, so that's that's the top of our first leaf up here. So down here we're going to come down and pull this one down. And we're going to pinch it in. And we're even going to pull in these sides just a little bit. Okay, so there's our... Uh, it's a, basically a heart shape. But it's not so indented at the top. And I do need to pull this out back a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's our first leaf. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this leaf and we're going to duplicate it once. And we're going to turn it. And then we're going to line it up down here. Okay, and then we're going to duplicate that one by hitting Control D. And then we're going to flip it. And then there's our third one there. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to select all three of these and then come up to path and hit union. And you can see what happens there. It grabs them all together. Now what we want to do is we want to make our stem part here. So we're going to do that by clicking on this polygon star tool. And we want it to be a polygon and we want it to have three corners. So now we just come in and we make our, our triangle drag it out okay and then we bring this in and we, we put it in up there and then we're gonna drag this down just a little bit okay and then again we do the same thing we select both items and then we come up the path and go union okay now so we kind of have a basic shamrock form we can come up here and we can pull these out just a little bit Okay. Now, too, if we wanted to, we could pull this, click, and pull this side in, and pull that side in, and pull this side in a little bit. Okay. Now we can color it. Uh, let's color it a green. There's green. Okay. And then if we wanted to have the inner coil effect, or the leaf down the middle here, we would just go like that. And then we would take this and pull this out. And then thicken that line up. And then duplicate it, rotate it, put it down there, duplicate, flip, and put it over here. Okay. And then if you wanted to, you could um, take this circle. And what I'm going to do is basically add like a highlight. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this and I'm going to get rid of any stroke, but then come over to my fill and give it a white fill. Oops, a white fill. Okay, 
and then I'm going to blur that up quite a bit. And then you just want to duplicate this. It doesn't look very good, let's get rid of those. But you basically have a shamrock shape. Now the easiest way to do this is actually just to control D on your old shamrock shape. Put it down one, two, three, okay? Then go with a, a dynamic offset. And what we can do is we can pull this down to like there. Okay. And then we go to our fill and stroke. And we basically get rid of the stroke. Change the fill to white. Or whitish green. And then blur it. Um, you could also go with a radial um, and blur it, but I think that looks good enough. Okay, and this is Learning Ginger, and this is creating a shamrock shape, a basic shamrock shape in Inkscape. Have a good day.